All right, now on my recent video, I discussed about the all new update which Samsung has pushed out for Smart Select feature, which brought back the GIF or GIF creation feature on the Samsung Galaxy phones using the Smart Select. Now, this update is not officially available across the globe. It was released in some places like US and Europe maybe, uh, but not available in my region. And I'm sure many of you guys would not have got this update on the Galaxy S24 series, S23 series, or the S22 series, where we have this all new AI based Smart Select feature feature now with One UI 6.1 upgrade. So what I did was I went ahead to apkmirror.com and downloaded the application or downloaded this update for the Galaxy S23 series. This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra I've got here. I've left a link for the APK from APK Mirror. Uh, the link is in the description. You can see the latest version is 5.8.61.4 and uh, we have got the change log mentioned here. The size is about uh, 55.23 MB. The moment you tap on download, it will download the APK and it will update your existing smart select feature. So if you haven't got the update yet and if you're desperate to get these features, the GIF creation and other enhancements on the smart select, then you can go ahead and and update your application right away from apkmirror.com. I have left a link for you guys. Now you can see they have mentioned the change log as well here on APK Mirror. You can now create animations, which is GIFs. The pin feature is now available directly from the toolbar after selecting an area. You can now drag the selected area to adjust the position. The touch range has been modified to make it a little easier to adjust the selected area. In addition, you can draw an outline around the area to select it, but you can also simply touch the area you want to quickly and smartly selected. So let's dive deep into this. Let me just break down all these features for you. In my previous video, I only explained how it's gonna be, but now since we have all these features on the phone, on the S23 Ultra, let's go ahead and check these out. Now let me activate Smart Select and I will select this portion of the screen. Now I'll tap on three dot button You can see we have got Create GIF option sitting right here. I can tap on Create GIF, crop the area to Create GIF and uh, you can uh, record the screen here and you can select high quality or a standard quality options. Let me keep it high quality. Now let me tap on record. Now it is creating a GIF. It will record the screen for 15 seconds. And uh, whenever you want to stop it, you can just tap on stop. The GIF has been created. Now I have done this on a static screen. There is nothing moving on the screen. We can do this on any video that is being played on the screen and we can create GIF. Or if you have got any moving animation on the screen, you will be able to create GIF on that. Now let's see if this works on uh, any video files. Let me open any video files here. We have a video playing here. Uh, let me activate Smart Select. Let's tap, on, let's select this area and tap on three dot button, tap on create GIF. Yeah, now you can see the video is being played and we can create GIF using this particular video. I can tap on record. The GIF is being created here. I can tap on stop. As you can see, we have got this GIF right here. We can copy it pin it or we can just tap on save to save it inside the gallery. Now do we need this GIF creation option on the smart select if you're creating GIF from the video files? No, we don't really need it because when you go to the video file, you can tap on this three dot button and tap on create GIF and you will be able to create a GIF right here without using the smart select. The next one is the pin feature is now available directly from the toolbar after selecting an area. Let me activate Smart Select right away. I will select this portion. Now you can see we have got pin button right here. For some reason, it looks as if it is disabled, but when I tap on it, the area is getting pinned and I can go ahead and open any other application and do the multitasking when this particular uh, screenshot is pinned right here on the top. We can tap on that. We can select text if you want. I will tap on text option here. You see it copies all the text here and we can paste that on any other application right from this pinned screenshot and we can download it. We can shrink it and we can move it around here and open it by tapping on that again and uh, close it if you don't need it. That is how the pin feature works on the smart select feature. Now this option looks disabled. Maybe this is an APK. This may not be that stable. Uh, maybe for that reason, this is not showing up here. Maybe with the stable version, when we get the official update, this might also appear here. For now, it is of course working on this APK as well. Next, you can now drag the selected area to adjust the position. Let me show you that. Let me just select this area here. Let me activate smart select and select this portion. It is selected. I should be able to press and drag it around here. You see, this is possible now. Earlier, this was not possible. Like I discussed in my last video, we can adjust the size and move this around here, which is really great. Now I'll show you something more interesting. This is a contextual menu, depending on the content that we have on the screen, depending on the content that you've selected, it will show you these menu options. Now let me tap on this three dot button 
you can see we have got convert option right here. This is showing up for this particular content. When I tap on convert, you can see it has converted this 55.23 MB into kilobytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. This is done by the AI. Let me tap on show more. You can see we have got additional details here. We can copy it right from here. Now this is showing up because we have got the data here. You can see the download APK size 55.23 MB is mentioned. So the AI is recognizing this and it is giving us an option to convert this uh, MB to kilobytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. This is just amazing. This is a real AI integration on Smart Select feature. We were talking about AI integration, whether we need it or not. You see, this is how it looks. This is how it works. And uh, we can really make use of it depending on the content that we have got here. Now let me just move this around a bit more and see if we get any additional options. You see, now it is showing only create GIF and add note. And if we select only this APK area here, it shows me convert option. Now, if I select this text area only, it is actually picking up pretty well. It selects this entire text area. And here the text option is highlighted. We can tap on that to just copy this. We can tap on three dot button to add this to the node directly. Let me tap on add node, add to existing node, add to new node. I can select add to new node and the node application is open. It has been pasted or saved right here on this new node. This is just crazy. This feature has improved a lot, I would say. Now let's try this on something else. Let's open Play Store here. Let me activate Smart Select. Let's try, you see the moment I tapped on that, it is picking up the exact image here, which is fantastic. Then I can drag it around if I want to change that. I can even crop it. However, when I tap on that area, it picks up that image very, very well. As you can see, even this icon, it is picking it up. I will select this, it picks it up. I'll select this. Again, it is picking up this icon. When I tap on this text, it is selecting the entire text. And when I tap, let's say at the bottom here, it is selecting this icon. It is selecting this entire area. So this is really nice. Samsung has really improved this feature for sure. Now let's see what options that we get. I'll tap on this three dot button. We get sketch to image option right here. We've got create GIF and add note. If I select this image, Again, we have got sketch to image. Any image that you select, you are going to see sketch to image option on this. And uh, we also have edit option. Let's see what this does. I'll tap on edit. Wow, this is cool. It picks up this image. We can go ahead and save it or we can further edit it using the S Pen options or the pen options. This is just insane. Now let me just try this again on something else. Let me download it. Let's try it on this particular image. I'll tap on edit. You see, it crops this image. But the thing here is we only have rectangular crop. We do not have the oval crop that we had. I wish Samsung had added that option as well on this. It would have been just fantastic. Now let me just download this. Let's see if we get any other additional options here. Look at this. We're getting convert option right here at the bottom left. When I select this data, I have selected 1.2 MB. Instantly, it will show me convert option. Now let me show you something more interesting here. Now uh, we can see this dollar symbol here with the amount. If I activate the smart select and select this dollar, this particular amount here, nothing happens here. We just get the usual options, select text or uh, add to note. But instead, if we activate circle to search, let me show you circle to search here. I'll select this dollar symbol with the amount. It converts this amount into Indian rupees. Now this is really cool. This is uh, what the uh, circle to search can do. Now what I'm trying to say is if Samsung can integrate something like this if the Bixby or if the AI on Smart Select can convert this and show us the results like this in a separate window, it would be amazing. Let me know what do you think about that. I'm sure Samsung is going to improve these features and integrating Bixby into this would be really helpful. Next one is the touch range has been modified to make it a little easier to adjust the selected area, which means let's say if you have selected a particular area here, let's say I have selected this particular portion. Now you see this border, this is the area we where we touch and move it or crop this image that area has been increased maybe that is when we are uh, easily able to crop these images just by touching anywhere around this particular portion you see it's quite easy now to crop the image right from the edge here next it says you can draw an outline around the area to select it but you can also simply touch the area you want to quickly and smartly select it so that means you can now just touch the area here to select that portion of the area or you'll be able to just circle it or uh, draw however you want to select that particular portion so these are some important changes or enhancements that we have got with this all new smart select now i'm really glad to see this the gif creation is there but it is not uh, working on youtube which is a bummer otherwise samsung has really improved 
huge smart select feature with this all new update. If you want to go ahead and try this uh, update, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. You can download that APK, install it. Uh, it's not going to harm your phone. I'm sure it will be, uh, it, it is a quite reliable source from which we have got this uh, APK from. So uh, you can go ahead and try it out. And let me know what do you think about this update in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, the link is in the description. Go ahead and download it. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.